A day after his arrest, Yala MP Simon Bogu and three others would be presented before Senior Principal Magistrate Martha Mutuko, Bogwa Benjamin Udiambo Elias Solo and Oteno Ombok Elias Jamal pleading not guilty to robbery with violence. The suspects facing accusations of attacking former Nairobi business official Timothy Morioki last week. Several other suspects are still at large. Journalist Stephen Sangira, who was arrested with the three yesterday, was however not presented before the court. Police sources indicating he would remain in their custody a little while longer. Sangira would, however, be arraigned at noon with police applying to have him detained for a further seven days, an application denied by the magistrate. Francis Muita, an investigating officer, told the court that they required more time to carry out an identification parade, saying they believed Sangira was involved in a series of other offenses committed within the city and an ongoing investigation over the attack and robbery of Morioki at Boulevard last week. Back to the other three, the prosecution would ask the court to restrain Bogwa from interfering with witnesses listed in the case, as well as the ongoing investigation. His lawyer, Cliff Ombetta, however, asked the court to grant the MP a free bond, saying that setting conditions for his client was unlawful. The three were released on a 200,000 shillings cash bill each and asked to deposit copies of their identity cards in court. The case will come up for mention on the 23rd of May with hearings set for the 17th and 18th of July. Jackie Marie Bay, JKL.